before we start, let's do a quick exercise. Okay, what's your dream destination? Anyone? Just give me, give me one, one destination. A beach. A beach. Yeah. Just say. Okay. So you guys, have you been to Copacabana? Okay. I want to go there. So let's all go to Copacabana. I want you guys to do this exercise. Close your eyes, and at the, at the count of three, we're all going to be in Copacabana. Just close your eyes, everyone. Just close your eyes. One, two, three. Open your eyes. Are you at Copacabana? You're still at Gus. <laughs> All right, so that wasn't a great experience, but through virtual reality, the aim is to get you to the closest thing to the Copacabana Beach in Brazil. Okay, and that's what we're aiming to do, and that's what I'm trying to I'm going to try and explain to you guys. So, what is virtual reality? There's so many different definitions of virtual reality out there. This one's the one that I found was the one that's the perfect fit. The computer-generated simulated experience viewed with a headset that places the user in a different environment using stereoscopic 360-degree video. You can, do, you can do still image as well, but preferably it should be video. Okay? And that's, in essence, in a, very, in a nutshell, that's what virtual reality is. So what are the uh, virtual reality headsets that are available out there? There's these basic ones, the ones that you use your phone and you put them inside uh, the headset. There's, uh, I'm sure everyone's familiar with the Google Cardboard. Everyone's familiar with the uh, Gear VR. There's the VR Box, and there's tons of other ones that are available for really cheap. You can get them for $20, $30, even $10 on Amazon. All right, then you have the hybrid VR headsets, which is the Sony. This is the thing that you just plug into your uh, PlayStation. And then you have the good stuff. You have Oculus, and you have the HTC Vive, which we have uh, on demo outside. And then you have the, uh, there's, there's another, there's a company, it's a micro brand called uh, Pimax. They already have a headset out there, but they're going to be very soon uh, launching a new 8K resolution virtual reality headset sometime in the summer. Okay, so these are the basic headsets that are available out there. And this is where you can get content. There's actually a lot of, there's not a lot of content to be honest, but there's people that are working on putting together the content. All right, so you can get content from Steam VR, you can get content from Viveport, Little Star. Funny, even YouTube has a certain selection of uh, virtual reality content. First things first, let's see what we can do as organizations, as institutions, as GUS, um, as brands, as companies. What are brands out there doing? You can do a lot of stuff with education. There's kids in the US in certain schools that are being transported to virtual worlds. So you don't have to wait for a really expensive class trip to go to the visit the Grand Canyon or Niagara Falls. You can actually do it in VR. Uh, you, can, you can apply it in sporting events. Imagine courtside seats to the NBA, NBA playoffs. I mean, that's really cool. Any basketball fans? No? Football fans? Awesome, man. So imagine, I mean, the World Cup's coming. I think they're talking about the 20, uh, 2022 World Cup uh, being available in VR. It's still, they're still in talks, but that's going to be great. Imagine watching, the, you know, watching all the game, big games, the, the semifinals and the finals and all the big games with your favorite teams in virtual reality. That's going to be awesome. Right, so then you have travel and tourism. So in the old days, you'd have to go and you'd browse through catalogs and videos and try and figure out what the best, what, what, what kind of location you want to spend your anniversary or your birthday. Well, now you can experience it in VR. So before you book that resort, before you book that spa vacation, you'll be able to put your headset on and experience it in virtual reality before you go ahead and make that booking. And then of course, live concerts. So, who's your favorite uh, musician? Give me some names. Chris Brown. Chris Brown, okay. Timberlake. Justin Timberlake, okay, my man. All right. So, imagine, imagine you want to go to a Justin Timberlake concert, but they're out of tickets, and you're like, damn, I want to go to that concert, but I can't find any tickets. But in future, if you, if the concert organizer runs out of tickets, you're going to be able to watch it in VR. All right. So, two things are happening. More people will be able to attend those events. Okay and it's additional revenue for the organizer, right? So that's, that's the benefit, all right? So what's the value, pro value proposition for VR? So this is basically 10, 15 years ago, for those of you, I mean, I'm sure a lot of us are in marketing or they're learning marketing. I'm in marketing, I've been doing it for the last 18 years of my life. So we were talking 10 years, 15 years ago, we were talking about marketing 2.0, which was the digitization of marketing, right? So I personally, I like to call virtual reality, I like to call it marketing 3.0, okay? And what's the difference? Old school marketing was a basic, very dull, drab, 2D format, right? 
new age marketing is, is 3D. This is virtual reality and augmented reality and, and even mixed reality. It's 3D. The old screen marketing model focused on basically a flat experience with limitations, a lot of limitations. You couldn't, yes, there was two way, two -way communications, uh, but it wasn't, it wasn't as fluid, it wasn't immersive, and this is what we aim to do with virtual reality. We're offering more immersive experience. You remember the old days, or even, even now, right now, people say when you're, when you're setting up a website, when you're creating a website, you have to make it responsive. That's the norm, right? It's the norm. You have to have websites that are responsive, websites that are easily, uh, that easily adopt to your mobile screen, or your tablet screen, or whatever screen you're viewing it on. Well, in the very near future, the norm is going to be having VR on your website, especially if you're a B2C business. And then of course, we're moving from limited interaction to a deeper sense of interaction. You're talking about more empathy. You're talking about more feeling. You're talking about being a part of that experience. Again, the key word here is immersive, okay? So this is basically, you, you know the old day, the revolution or the evolution of, of media was basically uh, billboards and then it was newspapers and then it was uh, radio and then it was television, it was the internet and what have you. Well now, this is the next stage. The next stage is virtual reality and I call it the human evolution. It's, uh, here's the good stuff. So now we're going to take a look at some uh, great examples of uh, how organizations all over the world have used VR. Okay, so this one is uh, New York Times. They did, uh, they distributed free VR headsets and uh, once they were distributed to some of their top subscribers, they were sent a link to view a documentary that focused on um, displaced children all over the world. You know, the stuff that's happening in Syria and Myanmar and all over the world. And because of this vision, because of this 360, 360, 360 degree panoramic vision, what happened was donations to this drive actually quadrupled because people were experiencing it first time, well, almost first time. Okay, so this is another uh, example, the, the brand Topshop sort of uh, uh, invited people to watch London Fashion Week live at uh, at their stores, but all women that were that were invited to the stores were given VR headsets, and then they could watch it at time. I mean, it was as good as being right there at London Fashion Week, watching the models sashaying on the catwalk. This is uh, a supermarket. Uh, it's still in prototype, but it's a pretty cool concept. Oh yeah, I need to do the shopping. Welcome, man. What do you need? Hi, Super. I need some pasta. Let's see then. Ah, there it is. Whoops, I almost forgot. Lucy, who's gluten intolerant, is also going to be there tonight. Show me just the gluten-free products, please. And I have activated the gluten filter for the shelf. Now I need snacks for my son. Hey Anne, you have almost reached the number of points necessary to claim the new prizes. I will highlight the products that award more points. Yes, super, thank you. Look at these. So many points and great ratings. Nice, I'll take it. This is nice, what is it? Would you like to take a closer look? Yes, please. Should I book a test drive? Thanks. Test drive booked. I have sent you the address via email. Great. But now I need to get some shampoo. Hmm, this won't be an easy choice. These are the ones recommended by your friends. There it is. Hillary's favorite. Well done, Super. Got it. Good. That should be it. Let's go check out. Oh! I nearly forgot about the apple pie. Super, show me the ingredients. Anne, I have analyzed 10 apple pie recipes and the relevant ingredients. This is what is missing from your pantry. Okay, thanks. Anne, shall I proceed with payment? Hang on, Super. I might have picked up too many apples. Okay, now you can pay. Transaction authorized. What time will you be home in the afternoon? After 5 p.m. Perfect. Enjoy your supper. Thanks, Super. See you next time. Maybe I'll invite you.
So this is actually a company in Italy that is developing the prototype, and uh, it's not going to be long before you're going to be able to do this in real in, in real time, in real life, maybe in a year or two tops, right? So next we have a company in the U.S. that does sneakers, but they're doing they're specialized in hiking boots, and they did a really cool VR experience to promote the hiking experience in order to promote the boots. So here goes. Marvel is launching their newest, most advanced hiking shoe, the Capra. So how do we show people the extreme places this new killer shoe can take them in a new and exciting way? By taking over the Sundance Film Festival with the very first Oculus Rift virtual reality experience that uses motion capture technology, so the user is able to walk around in a virtual world. virtual reality experience with a difference. So uh, we've done quite a few virtual reality experiences before, but we've never had a client brave enough to do a walk around one. Make sure you stop at the end and take in that deal. What you'll be doing is taking a virtual hike in the Dolomites in Italy, and you'll be going across a particularly wobbly rope bridge. And then there might be some sort of landslide. And you might need to find your way to the summit of a mountain. How am I scared in a little hallway again? It's unbelievable. It's wild, man. It's really wild. So it's a, it's a virtual reality headset, like there are many out there already, but the difference being this time is that we're using a motion capture system, so there's an OptiTrack motion capture system in the entire space. So not only do you have the ability to look around at whatever you like in that space, so wherever you go, we can simulate your view inside our technology. That was awesome. It was really cool. Four D elements like the bridge, wind, and the ground shaking made the experience feel even more lifelike. People were amazed. That's yeah, crazy. it was way cooler than I was expecting. It was the most amazing thing ever. Terrifying. I was still walking like this. Literally felt like I was like. It was pretty intense. But actually moving in that space, it's just, there's no other feeling like it. Speechless. Yeah. And most importantly, it made them want to get outside and do it for real. There guys, thanks. So like the guy said, it made them want to get outside and do it for real. And this was basically a really cool experiment. It was a combination of uh, 4 elements. They had floors that shook. Uh, they had simulations that did uh, wind and water and what have you. They had these uh, uh, stereoscopic uh, treadmill that, walk, that that kind of worked in uh, in pretty much all directions. And of course, they had a really cool VR experience with the base stations and positional tracking. There, there's a lot of stuff to know about. If there's any questions, we'll take them outside. So uh, my question to you guys before you go outside is, how VR ready are you? Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>